So I did the unboxing on this antenna, and in the unboxing, I uh, said that what I want is to allow myself to con connect to this actual access point, which is at my window at my apartment, which I mounted on the air conditioning mount. And um, I'm trying to connect to the playground, which is probably about 200 feet away from this antenna. The uh, It's in the park. And when I take my kids to the park, my wife takes my kids to the park. It makes it easier to still do work in the park while the kids are in the park playing. Um, so I wanted to see if I can access my network, mostly for doing print jobs. I say, there's something I want to print. I don't want to forget. So I can send the print job up, up and it's printed out. By the time I get upstairs, it's done. Or sometimes I need to connect to my NAS uh, to look at something. So this will give me that option. I did the video on the unboxing and my setup, how I installed it and everything. So now we're gonna do the setup on configuring it. To start the, com the uh, configuration, I'm gonna do it with my tablet. You have to connect to the Wi-Fi Wavelink uh, network, which you can notice which one it is when it doesn't have any password on it. So let me there's no password needed. I just connect it and it's connected to my network because that's the IP addresses. Oh no, that's actually not the IP addresses for my network. So um, now that I'm connected, the setup page will come up. You will see the setup page come up. Okay, let me connect. Set a page will just pop up right after you connect. And there it goes. Automatically locks you. So over here, this is the first page. Let me try to keep this as still as possible. Land, country, time zone, and login password. So I have English. These are the different actual regions and countries that it gives you. And I'm choosing UFCC US. And I'm choosing minus five for the Eastern, Eastern part of the US. And let me put my password. Can't show you that, sorry. But just before I put in my password, just to give you a heads up, whenever you type, when you're in the configuration of the Wavelink uh, access point, the first letter typed always comes out capital. I don't know if I hold the shift, will it come out capital? Yep, it'll always come out capital. So pay attention to your password, uh, what you're typing in, because it will come out, the first letter will come out capital if you're doing all lowercase. The first one will be capital, so pay attention to that. So what I'm doing is, let's say my password was ABC, I'll type in A and then A again, B, C, and then I'll scroll here and I'll delete the capital A. And that's all, and that'll be my password. This is the next page you come up to. Gateway recommended, connect to, Wi-Fi password, and the 2.45 gigahertz name. And then you gotta choose a Wi-Fi that you're gonna connect to, if you wanna connect to a Wi-Fi. Um, I wonder if I just set up as a gateway and not choose a Wi-Fi. I'm gonna try that setup. And if you scroll further down, you have other options here, right there. And it's um, Easy Mass Agent, Land Bridge, AP Mode, and Repeater Mode. So I'm gonna leave the default, set it up as a separate connection. Try it out. So I set everything up without selecting a Wi-Fi. Okay, I don't wanna show you my password. And try connect. No, it says you have to connect. You have to choose a Wi-Fi. So I have to choose a Wi-Fi signal. All right, let me do that. I'm actually now going, I'm gonna try the LAN AP mode. I think I'll like that much better. 
And now, there is no Wi-Fi to choose. This is everything on the page. And I set up my own access point to this. And that's kind of what I want to do. Let me try that out. And the different security method, WPA2, which I'll be choosing. Oh, WPA2, WPA3 mixed. Hmm, maybe that's the one I'm going to be choosing. I'm going to choose that one. That's the password it's telling me, but I'm not going to use that one. Let's see what happens. I gotta change that Wi Fi password. I'm trying to speed test on the 2.4 gigahertz antenna, and I'm right next to it. I'm literally five feet away from it. It's not looking good. For 2.4. But if I can get this outside at 200 feet, then I'll be fine. Let's see what it gives me at 200 feet away. I know it's lower data throughput on 2.4, but it should be getting better than this. I have 300 up, 300 down. Try it again. Then I'm gonna try the five gigahertz. So I'm now in the five gigahertz antenna. And again, I'm 300 up, 300 down. That's what I paid for. Okay, that's a lot better. Thirty nine to seventeen. Let's try it again. That's what I like. Three twelve one sixty seven. Okay, that I can live with. That's pretty cool. All right, let's try to log in. So I typed in uh, Wi Fi di Wi Fi the wavelink dot com. And I get this, which is fine. So now let me do the show details because it should give me an option to continue on. The certification is not valid. Okay. You can visit this website, so I'll be clicking on that on the bottom. Let me click on that. I don't need to view the certification. And uh, are you sure? Yes, I am very, very sure I want to visit the website. There it goes. Okay, let me log in. Again, the first letter that you type in is going to be capital. So <laughs> type it in <laughs> twice if, you're, if your login is a lowercase. Mine is a lowercase. So it's going to type in, when you type in, like I said, when you type, let's say your password was ABC, the A is going to come out capital, then lowercase b and c. Uh, no matter what you do, you don't, need, you don't even have to have cap locks, you don't have to hold shift. It's going to always be capital. I don't know why, but that's what it's been doing to me. So it's going to be lowercase. And so I typed in two A's and then I just delete the first A. Because so I can't see it either. So I can't see show. But I know I'm having a problem logging in and that's the reason why. 
Okay, and do I want to save the password? I'm gonna save it. And it didn't let me in. It's telling me it's not secure. So I'm having great difficulty logging in. And I think the reason I'm having difficulty logging in is that when you set up the Wi-Fi password and the administrator password, as a matter of fact, let me go back. So again, I'm having great difficulty logging in. And I think it's because it requires these three bars to be green and the password requirement, I think it's at least one uppercase. So you need, so if I do this A, B, C, one, two, three, all right, six, it's all green. But once I go in and I make that A, additional A, because my password is uh, all lowercase, or I want it to be lowercase, I get these two yellow bars and then it's, I got to click save. I think I'm having issues. Unless it's all green, I can't log in when I try to log into the web page. So we're going to see if that's true by setting up all the wipe, setting up the account password, the system password, the Wi-Fi password to make sure that all three bars turn green. And that's going to require an uppercase. Let me see if I can put the uppercase on a later. Yep. You're going to need an uppercase somewhere in that password, I believe. So let's see if I'm correct. I may be wrong, but let's see. So I have absolutely no idea if this is a bug. If maybe you're experiencing this, but this is what happened with me. Like I said, I had to reset it and use the first password, the first letter as a capital letter, getting all three lines green. Once I did that, I... I finished the setup, came here, and I was able to log in. Before, I kept trying to log in with the same password that I set. It was not working at all. So I'm here at the setup page. Once I'm logged in to wifi.wavelink.com, gives me all kinds of information. How many clients? There are two. So it's me and probably the network. And it's an access point, my gateway. The device's IP, I'm gonna to try to make that static so I can log in through that IP address. Channel three, connected to the internet. Scroll up, my DNS, my DNS two. Uptime, up time, 19 minutes. Five gigahertz on channel 44. Okay, let's go to the Wizard, I think that says wizard. So this is the wizard page. Let me see what's on under easy mesh agent. I guess I gotta wait for that to stop. And I refreshed the page and it went away because it was there forever. Easy mesh pairing, start pairing. I'm not doing that, nothing else. Let's go back. And again, that thing is just refresh the page. That's what I've been doing. And it's gone. Wi-Fi repeater. This is where I believe I can change it. Yep. So I can change it to gateway again. Um, I'm gonna leave it as access point. This is where you go to change it under the wizard slash Wi-Fi repeater. You can change it there. All right, let me refresh the page again. Gone, let me go to Wi-Fi. And these are my Wi-Fi settings. So now I'm under the Wi-Fi configuration. So this is your Wi-Fi settings, your password, the name of your Wi-Fi, uh, the name of your Wi-Fi. You can change it here. 
do different other things. I don't want to go there because my password's there. So uh, we're going to skip that one. Regional settings. Country, region. You can change it there. Let's go back. 2.4 gigahertz advanced setting. That's to change the Wi-Fi channel. Five gigahertz Wi-Fi channel again. DFS, I don't know what that stands for. Let me know if you know hello. Now let me go to setup. And wow, a lot of stuff in setup. Internet settings, time settings, login password, backup restore, upgrade firmware, device status, log out, device reboot. So let's look at in uh, well. So let's look at internet settings. Internet settings, DHCP, obtain IP address, obtain DNS automatically, and uh, DNS, DNS. So I guess you could do manual. Yep, static IP. If you like, I'll leave it DHCP. Time settings. Hopefully we'll, we won't have to deal with this in the future. I understand they're getting rid of daytime, daylight savings time. I'll put it on anyway. You know what, I'll just leave it default. I'm not saving it. Login password. Old password, new password, so you can change the password here. We're under settings. Back up and restore, so you can back up the configuration, restore the configuration, and do factory reset. Right there. We'll go back. Right. Refresh the page. Got that thing will not go away. I have no idea why. Um, upgrade firmware. I'm not doing that right now. This is the current version I have. Device status. Again, let me refresh the page because that thing doesn't go away. Device status. This gives you all the information. back uh, log out I'm not gonna log out and device reboot I'm not gonna reboot so that's everything within the wizard within the application very limited things you can do go back to the status and again this is the main page you come upon so now let's set now let's try it I'm gonna Try it at 200 feet, like I said, um, to see if I'm still getting a connection and see if I'm getting a good uh, connection. I'm only gonna use the speed test to check it out, and I'm also gonna look at the bars that I get while I'm on while I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi, and I tried the different ones, the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. All right, so let's go downstairs to the playground, or actually next to the playground. So now I'm just going to test with the speed uh, test. Alright, oh, I'm about 50 feet away. 50 feet away. I'm also on the 2.4 gigahertz signal. 2.4 gigahertz. 50 feet away. Now let me see if I can get a web page to come up. 
Okay, web pages are coming up with no issues whatsoever. At 50 feet away, 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, so now I'm about 125 feet away. This is where the playground is, the edge of the playground. 2.4 gigahertz antenna. I got a full signal, but the speed, not that great. Now let me see if I can get a web page to come out. Two point four. Wow, not good at all. Okay, the web pages are coming up. Not too bad. A little bit slow, but they're coming up. Yeah, they're coming up. All right. That means I can print from here and all that. Let me see if I can send a print job from here. Looks like the printer uh, came up and is sending a print job upstairs. Let me see if it, went, if it goes through. Uh, I'm low on ink and it went through. No problems whatsoever. I confirmed that, that uh, the print job was done. 2.4, 2.4 gigahertz antenna. Um, 2.4 gigahertz antenna 125 feet away this is kind of where i want it at the park so i'm going to go further away with the 2.4 now i'm about 200 feet away still got all three wi-fi bars All right, I think that's it's done. Again, the 2.4 gigahertz antenna, about 200 feet away. I'm in the playground. I'm barely getting anything. Let me see if I can surf the web. Let me try fast.com also. But let me see if I can surf the web. And the upload's picking up just a tiny bit. Again, I should be getting a, The signal is great. All right, let me try fast. Dot com. It's about the same with fast.com. Now let's make sure I can surf the web from this far. 200 feet away, 2.4 gigahertz signal. I'm in the playground, lots of metal around me. Okay, that was painfully slow. Let's try another main link. Right, that's a little bit better. I think it takes a moment to really get a good signal. Now let me try about 300 feet away, see what happens. I'm now 300 feet away on the other side of the playground. Still got really strong bars. Let's try it again. 300 feet away, 2.4 gigahertz signal. Speed test. Okay, I'm getting something.
Wow. 300 feet away on the other side of the playground, as you can see the chain link fence, there's a lot of metal in between me and um, the uh, Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz one. I'm, I'm hoping that the five gigahertz does a lot better. Again, I have all five bars. I'm getting a great signal strength, just not the speed. .68 download and the upload is probably going to fail. Yeah, the upload failed. Now there's nothing in between us. There's just a lot of uh, uh, metal items like those poles right there, which are for the swings and the slides and all that. But it's a straight shot. Uh, I can see my window from where I am. Um, it's just that uh, there's a lot of metal in between us, uh, not blocking us, but you know, to the left and right of us. And I know that causes issues with Wi-Fi. So I'm hoping the 2.4 gigahertz, I mean the five gigahertz does a lot better, but let's try to print from here too and surf the web. 300 feet away, 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, it printed successfully. I was only printing test. Oh no, telling me offline. Sorry about that. Let's try that again. Okay, there it goes. Printer is low on ink. And it should come up telling me a printer. Yeah, I'm getting an error. So it's not printing successfully from 300 feet away. All right, let's try, oh, let's try fast.com. This is from fast. Not great. Uh, let's see the upload. Upload was a lot better at 300 feet away, 2.4 gigahertz. Now let's try surfing the web. I just clicked the link. This is my favorite podcast that I watch. Okay, it came up pretty quick. Uh, let's go to. Uh, okay, this is the Gizwiz podcast, which I love. And I'm trying to go to gizwiz.biz, which is Dick D. Bartola's um, page where he writes up everything that he reviews. Actually, it should be coming on in about 45 minutes. I have all these bars. It should be coming up right away, but it is taking a long time. All right. <laughs> After a few minutes, I've been here for the longest, so I'm gonna have to walk up and test the five gigahertz signal now. And I hope I can get that at 300 feet. The page did not load, I'm still waiting for it. It should get better as I'm getting closer. So I am now 50 feet away at the five gigahertz signal. Five gigahertz. Let me see how the speed test does. feet away the five gigahertz signal. playground let's see at 125 feet let's see what all right not too bad the bar went down one one raise it 3.89 upload is two let's see how surfing the web works
But before surfing the web, let's try fast. So on fast, okay, that was the download, but the upload is a lot, well, a little bit faster than the, or a lot higher than the uh, download. Yep, it finished 9.6. Now let's see if I can surf the web. Again, I'm at thegizways.biz, great website. Okay, everything came up. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, everything's coming up nicely. Pretty fast, too. And I'm in the playground, so that's what's the important part. Let's go to... Yep, everything is loading up very well. No issues. Good. I am now in the middle of the playground, about 150 feet away at the five gigahertz signal, five gigahertz. And wow, look at those bars. They're going up, they, well, they were at three. So uh, they keep going up and down. But let me see if I can still get a connection here. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's about 100 feet away, 150 feet away. Five gigahertz signal. Not too bad. All right, not too bad. As long as I can communicate and connect to it, you know, to my network. That's all I. Ma that's all that matters. Fast.com just finished 4.6. 100. I'm 150 feet away in the playground, in the middle of the playground. I'll be closer to the fence area because that's where the benches are. Uh, but I'm in the area where the kids play. 4.6, 50 megabytes uh, upload. That was much faster than my download. Not bad. Now let me see if I can print from here. Okay, my printer's showing up. That's a good thing. And I am now going to print. It's not low on egg, I just have to reset it. The print job seems to have printed successfully. Now let's try surfing the web. So let me go to my favorite website, which is gizwiz.biz or gizwiz.tv. Successfully, didn't take too long. Uh, let's go to one of his, another link of his. Let's go to gizwiz.tv. Okay, the gizwiz.tv is loading. Let me see how the video plays, and I'm going to mute the video and play it. This is the SD version. Took about 20 seconds for it to load. It did have to buffer and it is streaming now. And again, I'm 150 feet away with no issues whatsoever. So I'm playing one of my videos from YouTube and it's streaming, no issues whatsoever, pretty cool. Awesome. And it's playing just fine. I'm probably now on the other side of the playground. That's the uh, fence right there. I'm probably 325 feet away now. On the 5 gigahertz signal, which it has two bars. That's me connected there. That's my connection. And let's see how it does. This is further than I need. But I want to see if it works all right, not bad. These were my final scores. Again, the five, oh, I just lost the Wi-Fi signal. But this is what I got when I, while I was under Wi-Fi. 
0.4 and 0.48. There it is. I'm back again. Now let's try fast.com. Fast.com, 15 megabits per second, 44 up. Wow, shocked at the 44. Good. So now let's see if I can stream and surf the web. So let me go here. All right, that, that took about 10 seconds. So now let me go to the main website. Uh, that gives ways that biz. Right? I just put the address in and it pops up. It seems to work a lot faster when you put the address in than clicking on the links themselves. Uh, so let me see. Uh, let me go to an episode back to the TV. Yeah, worked. that one worked well. All right, let's do some streaming. I'm going to try my YouTube channel. So it's streaming with no issues whatsoever. Pretty cool. And I am on the Wi-Fi. See, I am on the Wi-Fi. Now let's try a print job. Girls here are not scared of people. All right, the print job went through. I'm still connected. I'm gonna try to go on the other corner of the park to see if it's even better. I'm on the other side, it's even picking up a better signal. I'm about 50 feet away from where I previously was, were, was, which was a straight shot from the window. Now I'm over to the left side of the window. And um, it's getting a signal. So I'm kind of diagonal to it. issues this is youtube one of my one of my videos and uh i'm watching it with no glitches on wi-fi so after my non-scientific test just my regular standard regular test uh i'm gonna keep it it works i can get to my printer and some other things i can just walk around the playground until i get a, the best signal and the best connection um and i went a lot further than i needed to go at 150 feet using the five gigahertz signal i'll be able to sit on one of the benches and or at one of the tables if i'm with my laptop and be able to work like if i'm on the internet not the fastest but better than nothing i'm getting what was that at 150 i can get up to 10 megabytes per second which is more than enough i mean i came from a 56k line times and uh, that was more than enough then so 10 megabits per second was considered very high speed back in the day. So as long as I could connect, print, surf the web, get to pages that I need to get to, that's all I care about. So I like it. I'm going to keep it. Um, I hope this video helps. I'm going to do a video on upgrading the firmware to see if that improves it. And in that video, I'll let you know if it did improve it from this video. Um, I'll do a screen recording of the process. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.